Hey, this is Leanne Carswell with the Expert Real Estate Team. Check out what is going to be happening in the next 15 months in my September 2019 market update. Here's the first thing I want to talk about. Um, what you may be hearing in the news is probably going to freak you out um, that a recession is coming. Um, but I just wanted to educate you a little bit and let you know that, you know, don't listen to the to the media, the mainstream media, um, because it's not going to be scary. Um, it's not going to be another um, housing recession. So basically all the economists were surveyed and here's when they think the recession will begin. Um, Funny that it's at that time of the election. I don't care what side you're on, but it is what it is. So basically, according to Ben Bernanke, um, anyway, if people hadn't panicked back in 08, the um, declines of employment consumption and output in the early stages of the Great Recession would have been less severe if we hadn't panicked. So don't let what you hear on the news freak you out because um, technically a recession doesn't equal a housing crisis. And I think this is something that we really need to drive home as realtors and understand as realtors. That's what we're here to do is educate you. But a recession is a two consecutive slowing periods of the um, GDP. So that's the Great Recession. Um, I'm going to show you something that they may not have. Um, well, I know they're not going to tell you in the mainstream media. Um, here's the last five recessions. So in three of the last five recessions, um, prices for housing went up more than historically average. Historical average is about 3%. So the recession that is coming will most likely be um, like the one in 2001. So don't freak out and, and be like Chicken Little that the sky is falling, the sky is falling. So a study was done and this is what they found. The top three triggers for the next recession, trade policy, which is going on right now, stock market correction and geopolitical crisis, which who knows something like that will happen. But coming in at number nine was a housing slowdown. Since the Great Recession, banks have super tightened up on folks getting loans and who they give money to. A lot of the bad guys got their butts thrown in jail. So you don't let that hold you up from buying or selling. So it's not going to be like it was back in 08, 09. So this is national averages. So for South Carolina, um, we are, according to this map, up to 30 days on the market. In a minute, we're going to go to the Greenville County stats or the Greenville MLS stats, and I'll show you what our real numbers are. So new home sales right now, you can't drive anywhere without seeing new homes being put up. And that two to three hundred thousand dollar price point is the sweet spot for builders. So um, lots and lots of new construction going up around Greenville, Spartanburg, Anderson. Um, I mean, it's huge. One thing I can tell you, we get calls every day looking for foreclosures. We're down to two percent of our inventory is in foreclosures. So um, it's really hard to find those great deals like we were used to seeing back in, you know, 10, 11, 12. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're looking at that, unfortunately, you may have missed the boat for now anyway. However, right now, mortgage rates are so good. Um, I mean, buy a house, buy two or three, interest rates are so, so good. Now, in Greenville, let me show you this. I think this is interesting. Let's see. Okay. These are market overviews for the Greenville MLS. So, year to date, 
the new listings are up almost 5% in the Greenville MLS. Pending sales, however, are down about 6%. Closed sales are up almost, well, 2.5%. So things, things will average out. This, I think, is kind of interesting, though. So our average days on market is um, 54 days, which is up 3% from last year. A little different from the national numbers that we saw where it's under 30, and that's for the whole state of South Carolina. So this is just zoom, zooming in on um, the Greenville MLS. The um, average sales price for a home in the Greenville MLS has come up 3.6%. We all know houses are a little bit more expensive than they have been. And sellers are still getting about 98% of what they start asking. Um, and houses, again, are, are really super affordable. So I think some key takeaways from everything that I'm telling you is if you do listen to the news, not a bad thing, but read between the lines because you're not being told everything. They try to sell fear and uh, fear sells. So come to a professional. We know how to read the market. We actually subscribe to a thing called Keeping Current Matters. And this, what they do is take about 5,000 different um, resources, pull them together and read the tea leaves of what's going on. So yeah, recession's coming, big deal. Um, we were doing so good or have been doing so good. Um, it's bound to slow down. I mean, it's just the way things are. So, but if you're holding off from making a purchase or from selling and buying that next home, please don't reach out to us and let us talk to you about it because right now is a really good time to be a seller. At any rate, if you have any questions, reach out to us at the expert real estate team, 895-9791. Our web address is expertrealestateteam.com. And um, we are here to help you and here to educate you. Thanks so much. And thanks for listening. Bye.